Hi guys, it's Monica. I have had, since one of my previous videos where I talked about the niacinamide and my caffeine serum solution that I've been using from The Ordinary, have had a lot of questions on how I'm using that. So I thought I would just do the short little video because I've had people say, oh, you know, you really can't use your niacinamide, you know, with your retin-A and all of that stuff. And so I, I just want to say that any skincare that you decide to use or to try, you really should investigate and check it out and feel comfortable with it and make your own decision. So what works for one person doesn't often work for the other person. I found that out the hard way with foundations, etc. You know, like what people rave about, I try it and it's like, oh my gosh. But anyway, so I thought I would do this little quick video and just um, talk about my ordinary haul. Now, that said, I just placed another order and I'm going to have an other haul, I guess you want to call it that. But I actually bought six bottles of their foundation. I can't wait to get it. This has been like sort of a must-have item and I, I've got a couple of different colors. I mean, at that price, you can't really beat it. So I'm really curious to see how that's going to compare to the number seven that I love, love, love at the drugstore level and my It Cosmetic CC Cream. But anyways, that's not what this video is about. It's just I'm really super excited that I'm actually getting that delivered. And um, the order's been processed and it's getting ready to be shipped. So cool, cool, cool. So anyways, on my niacinamide. When I ordered the niacinamide, and I ha I've ordered two bottles of this, so I already have my second bottle ready. But when I ordered this, I ordered it because I had heard from people that it helped with your pores. It helped your pores look better. I, you know, I wasn't too sure. I read reviews, I, I listened to videos, and I said, well, I'm going to give it a try. It, and it's a clear, you know, it's clear and it drops on. It's sort of like a little bit, you know, thick. But um, I ended up calling, no, I'm sorry, I ended up emailing the ordinary, the company, and I asked the question. I said, I use Retin-A at night and I would like to apply or use the niacinamide and I know you cannot use it in conjunction, at least everything I've read, with vitamin C. They don't play well together. So I was told that I could go on a regimen after I clean my face and then I could put on my clean skin the niacinamide on those areas of my face that I'm concerned about, which is my nose and some of my chin pores. So I would put it on and they said, let it sink in. So I said, you know, I mean, it, my skin, it can sink in pretty quick, but typically I wait after I apply this, I wait probably 30 to 45 minutes, sometimes longer. It all depends on the day, when I got home, when, because usually the first thing I do it now when I get home is I strip off my makeup. So, um, and then I, I apply that on at night. Now, about 45 minutes later, on average, sometimes not so much, sometimes, yeah, I, you know, a little bit longer. I would have put on, depending on the night, one of these, which is my two tubes of Retin-A. I just finished my 0.5% tube that I had, my original tube, and when I got that tube, I had ordered three of them. I got it from an online pharmacy in Canada, and I had three of these. One I traded with my hairdresser. But so I have another full one left, and I just am starting this, and this is my, my 1% that I've been using, and I have been mixing it with 5%, not together, but you know, sometimes I would put the 5% on at night, the next night the 1%, or I would take just a little tiny bit and then mix it together. But I didn't take a full size of each and mix it together. I wasn't looking to do that. I was actually looking to make the 1% a little less strong. So I would take that, a little tiny pea size, depending on the night, and I would just dab it on my face. And then, you know, just rub it in. And at the same time, as soon as I had that on my face, typically what I do is I take, and I have a, um, a Benigma dupe, and there are other Benigma dupes out there. If you, if you are into Benigma and you love it, awesome. But um, I just use the dupe. It's called a Bee Venom Face Mask by Lana Cream. I'll definitely link them. I've talked about this before. I find this at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I immediately, after I put on my my Retin-A, I immediately go in and I put this. I literally will put this all over my face. And 
it sinks into my face and it stings like the all the bejesus. Absolutely stings me like crazy. Then I usually go to sleep. I wake up in the morning and, and it really has eliminated a lot of my peeling that I was having. I'm also not doing this every night. You know, I alternate one night on, one night off. Sometimes it's two nights on. It all depends on how my skin is looking. But since I've been putting the cream on, it's really helped with the peeling and the flaking. And I feel the niacinamide, I can't tell you if it's working. I, I don't know. I'm not a chemist. I have no idea. But the company said it was perfectly fine for me to put it on my clean face, let it sink in, and then later, after this has done its duty, basically sunk in, apply my Retin-A. I don't use it in the morning. I do feel that I visually have seen a visual difference on my pores. Whether it's really shrinking my pores, whether it's a temporary thing, I don't know. But there is a more of a smoothness on my nose that I've noticed since I've been using this. So I'm loving the effects of this. Absolutely. On the nights that I don't do my Retin-A, sometimes I put this all over my face. I really, really do like it. Now, in the morning, my my um, I keep in my refrigerator my Timeless Vitamin C plus C plus Ferlic Acid. That, that's my serum in the morning, and I really I keep it in the refrigerator, so it's cold. And also, my Matrixel 3000 is in the refrigerator. And I keep in the refrigerator my caffeine solution or serum that I got from The Ordinary. When I use this in the morning, I swear to God, guys, this is like unbelievable, really unbelievable for me. I take this, I take it out of the refrigerator, it's cold. I put a drop on my hands, and my, one drop, a, not even a drop, I mean just a little bit on my hands, and I tap it in and I go, and I just tap all, and I usually wake up, I get a pretty puffy eyes in the morning. I tap, tap, tap. I, you know, I tap, 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 and then I have like these in the inner corners of my upper movable eyelid, I have these like fat deposits or puffy deposits. Sometimes they're puffier than other times, and I hate them because they're like really these two ugly thingies right there. So I don't know if you're supposed to be using it that way, but I also put it on the corner of my movable eyelids. I tap, tap, tap all around. Tap, tap, tap. I swear, I don't know if it's the coldness um that contributes to it, but it just feels so soothing on my eyes in the morning. I have, I'm absolutely loving putting this on my eyes in the morning, and it literally depuffs me. Now, it's not a fix-all forever. I mean, it isn't going to make the puffies go away forever, but it makes them go away for the day. When I get up in the morning, I have puffies again, and I just use this. So I've got um, I've got two bottles of this. I've got one in my motorhome, and I've got one at home, and I have another one on order. And the same thing with my niacinamide. So I really like that from the from the ordinary. I have ordered a few other pro products from them aside from the colors from the foundation. So I'm happy with with these two products. And I hope I hope I hope I love the foundations when it comes in. Uh, I was really they had so many different color choices. I was like going, oh my gosh. So, but anyways, I, I'm probably rambling. But I just um, I just wanted to to, you know, those people that had said, oh, you really shouldn't be using the niacinamide in your retin-A. I'm not doing it at the exact same time. Yeah, I'm using it at, at night and more often than not on the same night that I am using retin-A, but there is a time gap between the two. And the company, like I said, assured me that was a perfectly fine way to do it. So I don't know. It hasn't had any ill effects on me. Um, I, I'm liking how my pores are looking. Whether it's wishful thinking, whether, you know, whatever, but I'm liking how my pores are looking. And I'm absolutely loving how the caffeine solution's depuffing my puffy eye, eyes in the morning. It's like unbelievable. So I think that's pretty cool. So um, that's it. When my, when my order comes in, which I'm hoping will be in another week, I'm going to let you know how I like all the other things that I bought. But uh, this is, um, this caffeine solution's pretty cool. I really like it. So talk to you later, guys. Oh, and if you like the video, thumbs up. And as my husband Jay would say, if you don't like the video, thumbs up. Leave me a comment. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And for all of you that watch all my videos and always leave a comment and you're subscribing to my channel, and I just so, so, so appreciate every single one of you. Thank you, thank you all so much. Talk to you later, guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.